We can make it this, Irene. Well, I see over here there's some um, rocks stuck in the sandstone. Yeah, really pretty ones too, aren't they? You could take one of those out and polish it up and make a pair of earrings or something out of it. They're agates. They're not petrified wood as far as I can tell, but they're the same material as the petrified wood. And they're sitting here in a sandstone, just like the one you were chatting about a bit. And if we look at this sandstone, we can see the layering in it, the cross bedding, but these are not the big cross beds of a windblown sand dune. These are the little curving cross beds of a, of a stream, of a river. And it was a stream, a river that could roll gravel. So these are pieces that have come bouncing down this stream. We can see that they're a little bit rounded. You know, they've been in the stream and they've been bouncing around, but they're not really rounded. There's still some rough stuff. They're sort of semi-rounded is the term mm -hmm. for it. And what that probably means is that they're being eroded out somewhere fairly close here. They, they're formed um, or they're knocking out. They go a little ways in the stream and then they're forming again. We know that sort of everything that way for a long ways is about the same age, it's about the same sediments. These can't have come from some mountain range way, way far away or they'd have been really rounded. Yeah. And the only thing that way, the, where this stream is coming from, um, is the same sort of sediment. So that says that there was agate forming in these sediments where the petrified wood formed, um, even without wood. And that in turn says that the groundwaters really desperately wanted to deposit quartz. They wanted to deposit little crystals of quartz. And when they had wood to deposit it in, they put it in the wood. When they didn't, they put it somewhere else. They put it in little pockets in the, in the, the mud or something like that. But the petrification, you know, why do you get silica going in for the wood? This is ultimately telling us that the groundwater really had silica that it wanted to get rid of. The hard water deposits that it wanted to make were little quartz crystals. I was desperate to get rid of it. Tell us when, Dove. Go. All right, so what do you make of this, Irene? I don't know. We see some um, different rocks here. They have to have been formed right in these rocks that are around us, um, probably very near the surface, very quickly after muds were put down, and then they were picked up again and moved a little ways and then put back down here. They're coming from slightly older rocks, but not much, because there's a little of this, but not too much difference. So now, what can we say? This is the same stuff as the petrified wood, and we can see just by looking at this and what we know about the rocks, that this had to be forming right in the muds where the petrified mm -hmm. wood formed. 